Good morning, guys. Um, today is day number day number nine, and I am extremely happy to report that my body is starting to tighten up, um, especially like this part here and this part down here. So I don't know if you can really tell that. I am extremely excited. Um, my booty start to look like a booty again. It's not there yet, but it's we got some growth going on. Um, yesterday I went to the gym and I had to do some leg rolls with a massaging leg roller. My hamstring felt like the fatty tissue itself was bruised, which I think I mentioned in yesterday's video. So I done some leg rolls to massage that out. It did help while I was in my workout session. Um, and then I knew that I probably shouldn't do um, my kickbacks on my legs but to work out my hamstring and my butt. But I did them anyway. And I tried not to like push myself. Like I didn't feel pain when I was doing it. So I'm not entirely sure what exactly um, I did. But when I got home, it, it still felt bruised, but yesterday when I got home progressively it started to feel bruised from the back of my knee up to the, the bottom of my butt. So <clears throat> I kind of limped around a little bit most of the day. I sat down a lot yesterday just because it was uncomfortable, but I still got some of my housework done. And then um, my husband had gave me a massage last night, which almost brought me into tears. I was almost crying because it hurt so bad. Um, it was just like a bruise. You know, like whenever you get a bruise, you don't really want to touch it because it hurts really bad, especially like a high impact bruise. That's what it felt like, but there was no bruise there. So he massaged that out for like an hour and it was still tender this morning when I got up, but now that I'm up walking around and everything, it's definitely decided to die down. Um, it's not really in pain, but today I'm only going to strictly stick to the upper body. Like, I'm not going to throw in any kickbacks or anything like that for my hamstrings and butt. I'm just going to go in and do my biceps, triceps, my lats, uh, my shoulder blades. I'm going to try to do a couple core things, work out my core. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but um, I don't like to be on the floor to do crunches or anything like that. I had a neck injury about three years ago, right here. So there's a muscle that runs from the side of your neck down into, it's like, it runs from like down the side of your neck and into your back, like right over here on top of your shoulder or underneath this, this muscle right here. Um, it took a chiropractor for two months and in that two months, it was every other day seeing the chiropractor and it was every, no, it was every single day I went and seen the chiropractor and three times a week. So about every other day I had to go to a deep massage therapist that was also there at the chiropractor. Um, I had to have the electrodes put on my neck. Um, so I'm like really finicky anytime that I have to like strain my neck to like come up like in a crunch or sit up or anything like that. I do not do that because when I say that the pain immobilized me, that's exactly what I mean. Like I was stuck on the floor. I couldn't get up. I was in tears. If I did get up to go get a drink or to go to the bathroom or anything, my neck would go into a spasm because let me tell you.